Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're continuing Genshin Impact. So, shall we continue our Sumeru journey? We need to go to Jafar Tavern, which is... All the way over there. Well, let's get a little bit closer. been here before. Monsters and Kai Kairagi both troublesome issues. Um, thank you. I will talk to you later. This is the place we heard those students talking about. Let's find a seat somewhere and see if we can spot the group they mentioned. Why? I was just checking if you can go in. Should I adjust the shipping schedule? You sit down and wait for some time. Oh, you've arrived. Please take a seat. Thank you. So, they think that they can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the boss? Ha! Huh. Once we reclaim the power of King Deshret, they'll be the first that the boss punishes. <laughs> They're nothing to be afraid of. Our main rival now is the Caracal Battalion. They've also amassed a significant amount of more this time, so we mustn't underestimate them. How can the Caracal Battalion compete with the boss when they're nothing but a bunch of money-grubbing opportunists out for a quick mora? Yeah, with Boss's fervent devotion, he'll be able to use this power to bring our god back this time. Huh, all these guys talk about is King Deshret, so they're probably the ones we're looking for. <laughs> Greater Lord Ruka Devata, that traitor and her followers must not be spared. The day will come when King Deshret exacts vengeance on Sumeru, and all of them shall be punished. What are they talking about? Yeah, Paimon was wondering what they meant too. We should ask about that if we get the chance later. Get some information. Oh, sure. Welcome. This is gonna go well. Huh? Who are you? What do you want? I'm a student from the academia. A student? What's a student from Sumeru City doing in Port Ormos? I'm looking for info about a certain... something. Ah, well, if it's info you want, you've come to the right place. The question is, can you afford it? I'm not just gonna give him all my more... Huh? What is this? Some kind of joke? Yes. Oh! <laughs> Sorry! She must have grabbed the wrong amount! <laughs> hey, what do you think you're doing? See, I had hoped to get a different kind of dialogue with that option. Something like, oh, oh, I thought it was 50. But I guess not. <laughs> Alright, fine. choice right now <laughs> here this is the merchant's address whatever you're looking for you'll find it there hmm well what are you waiting for I just have one more question oh that's right we heard you mention King Deshret just now we're actually interested to know more because uh because we're Fine. Since you've already handed over the Mora, I guess I can throw in a little extra info. 
As you can see, members of Ain el Ahmar are devout believers of King Deshret. Years ago, King Deshret founded the great desert nation that was our homeland. It was an advanced civilization, far beyond anything you'll see in present-day Sumeru. King Deshret was the rightful god of wisdom, but he was betrayed by a companion he trusted. She even stripped him of his title, God of Wisdom. So, you mean the traitor was... Greater Lord Ruka Devata, yes. That shameless wretch destroyed King Deshret's civilization, and our ancestors were forced to flee to this land where we were made to suffer the tyranny of our enemies. Furthermore, she conspired with the Academia to cover up the truth of her actions, and create the merciful and benevolent facade for which she is now known. Ugh. Just thinking about it sickens me. But the story doesn't end there, oh no. King Deshret isn't truly dead. The voice of the Oracle has been heard in the desert, prophesying his resurrection. Mark my words, our god shall return. And when that day comes, all followers of the traitor and all the desert dwellers who have forgotten their true god will suffer retribution together. If what I'm saying makes you shiver with fear, it might not be too late for you to become a believer of King Deshret. <laughs> <laughs> um, can you tell us more about the Oracle? I don't have anything to say to you academia people about that. I think this conversation has reached its end. Not just yet. This man is a fraud. Huh? <sighs> you again? Deranged academia lunatic. Yes, it's me again. I already warned you that if you weren't willing to sit and discuss things with me, I'd take measures to make things uncomfortable for you. Listen to me. That address he gave you is fake. Or at least, you won't find a merchant waiting for you there. This group has been boasting all around that they can provide information on a certain item as a means of luring people into their territory. Once you show up, they keep up the act until they have hard evidence that you want to purchase said item. Then they use that to squeeze you for all the more you're worth. Hey! Shut it all, Haytham! What are you playing at trying to ruin our business like this, hmm? I told you the other day. I wish to discuss my terms with your boss. His eyes are very cool colored. You've got like a reddish brownish thing going on and then the like a blue like oh my god. Looks so cool. Ha! The boss made it perfectly clear that he won't negotiate with you. Yes, and in no uncertain terms. But that was then. It does not preclude him from changing his mind in the future. I'm warning you, don't push us, or this could get ugly. We don't usually get rough with people from the academia because it just complicates things. For a lunatic like you, though, we might just have to make an exception. If you're suggesting that we escalate this from a verbal exchange to a physical one, I accept. After all, even the Archons used war to negotiate the ownership of Tavat. If, on the other hand, we can't agree on any means of negotiation at all. Then I'm afraid my next course of action will sting a little more than the mere falling through of a few business deals. I will jeopardize the Aramite's reputation, which I know you value above all else. I am quite confident that if I began to take such action, your boss would willingly approach me himself. However, I fear that by then, some things will have happened that cannot be undone. Also, a word of advice. I suggest you tell your boss exactly what happened here today. Otherwise, he might blame you for not telling him in the future. What did you say? Consider this. Have I ever failed to follow through on my word in the past? This guy is really out of his mind. Okay then. If you really have a death wish, let's meet a week from today. The pier in front of the Pharos Lighthouse, 4 o'clock in the afternoon, sharp. Don't expect us to hold back. Not so fast. First, you return the 500,000 more to them. <laughs> Please, I beg you, don't provoke them. We can't afford any trouble with this crowd. They haven't even paid for their food yet. Ah, 
Mr. Iman, there appears to be fewer staff in the restaurant recently. This wouldn't happen to be because they're all busy spreading the word to the students, would it? I, uh... Well... <laughs> someone who chooses to do business with a group like that really can't afford to get so flustered the instant someone confronts them about it. Consider the meal compensation for our silence. I'd say you're getting an excellent deal. Whoa! Did you see that? He not only got us our Mora back, but sent the Amorites running too! Plus, he seems to know a lot about what's going on around here. Let's catch up with him and ask some questions! This world is so corrupted. What do you want? Thank you for your help back there. No need for thanks. My goal was to get to them, and you two gave me just the opportunity I needed. We're even. Oh, I advise you to keep your distance from them. Since they weren't able to make off with your Mora in the end, they might harass you again in the future. <sighs> All right. Goodbye. Hold your horses! We still have something to ask you about! <sighs> Since you tore through their scam right in front of them, you must know the real story about a... Ahem... <clears throat> certain something, no? Who exactly are you two? And why are you inquiring about that? I'm a student from the academy. A student? <laughs> right. Look, you should know that those thugs conducting business with you had nothing to do with your lie. Perhaps we can also talk terms. I know a thing or two about sword play. Huh? Oh, yeah! She's really strong! Weren't you saying something about a physical exchange? We can help with that. No, she why? doesn't even have a vision. Forget it. Maybe not, but she can still use elemental energy. Otherwise, there's no way we'd go asking for info from I'm... I'll... I... Uh, um... From guys like that! Close enough. Those high-headed thugs are definitely gonna bring a lot of backup for your next meeting. Even if you don't go alone, you won't regret taking us with you. Hmm. Uh... <sighs> All right. I accept. Got a pen and paper? If you're searching for someone who sells that kind of merchandise, I'll give you one of their addresses, and you can try your luck. We'll reconvene at the appointed time by the pier. It doesn't matter if you show up or not. Um, so, since you were happy to give us this merchant's information, does that mean you can tell us exactly what we're after? You were willing to part with 500,000 Mora for something and you didn't even know what it was? Yep. <laughs> okay. Well, if you truly are as skilled as you claim, then you can beat the answer out of them when they become hostile. Look. If you've been making inquiries, then you have to know something by now. Tell me what you know so far, so I don't waste time repeating information. We know it's connected to the academia somehow, and that not only do the Aramites deal in it, but some students want to get a hold of it too. Hmm, what else? It seems like some kind of knowledge. You know almost everything there is to know, but you're unable to compile this information because you've never seen the object before. This is what you've been looking for. Huh? My mind can't tell what it is. It looks like some kind of ornament. This is a knowledge capsule. To put it simply, it's a vessel that can store a fixed quantity of canned knowledge. It's like a miniature Akasha. Canned Anyone knowledge. Anyone who links it to their personal Akasha terminal instantly becomes privy to its contents. Can't you can you can can a knowledge? We'll just roll with it. Anyone? Correct. Anyone. Unlike the Akasha, which heavily regulates who can access what information, knowledge capsules confer their contents without any requisites. That's amazing. Yeah. 
It's essentially a convenient and harmless vestibule for knowledge. Unfortunately, it's illegal in Sumeru to privately possess or trade them. They were created as a means for scholars to transfer knowledge gained from Ermansoul into the Akasha, and are intended to be destroyed immediately after use. But despite strict regulations, some of these knowledge capsules will always escape destruction. After all, there will always be those in this world who are dissatisfied with life as designed for them by the Akasha and wish to change their fate. Over the past century, a wide variety of canned knowledge has been leaked from the Academia. Now, in Port Ormos, the valuable ones are a means to Mora for the Aramites. Meanwhile, those which the Aramites deem to be useless to them occasionally prove useful to the common citizens and hapless Academia students. Well, I think that about sums it up. I heard that the Academia lost something recently. Seems like it's a n knowledge capsule. Well, that's what. Oh my god. Oh, so that's your true objective. I want to learn more about it. With our current arrangement, I don't believe I can offer an answer. What do I have to do? <sighs> You're still resolved. Fine. Let's talk somewhere with fewer people. You're easy to wear down. <laughs> okay. Thank you. <gasps> Ooh. Chests appearing out of thin air? This needs research. So you keep saying, but you never do the research. All talk, no action. Let's continue our conversation here. If you wish to learn more about the knowledge capsule that the Academia lost, then you must help me with something. What is it? I need you to find someone named Dory, a traveling merchant. Oh? Unlike the peddlers who hawk inferior knowledge capsules, she often has quality goods in stock. Some say that as long as there is profit to be made, there is nothing she won't dare to sell. She's guarded against people from the Academia because most of her wares don't comply with Academia regulations. I think she blacklisted me. I met with her informant, but it soon became clear that they had no intention of letting me get any further. Become one of Dory's customers and earn her trust. This is my condition for further collaboration. We all do. Why do you want us to meet with her? Until Didn't you, you just complete say... this task? You don't have question privileges. <sighs> Fine. So how do we go about doing this? You two are outlanders who haven't been here for long, so Dory should view you as safe clients. I'll give you the informant's address and their contact password. Beyond the password, though, I have no way of knowing what other tricks she might have up her sleeve. You'll have to improvise. Oh, we're good at that. The true challenge begins after you meet her. She has a keen nose for Mora and a shrewd eye for wares, and she only likes customers who she deems to have good taste. Hmm. I'll prepare Nothing some funds for you. Buy her highest quality wares and earn her approval. What? We only just saw our knowledge capsule for the first time! We don't know how to tell which ones are good and which ones are bad. Uh, is that something we can learn quickly? Hmm, that's true. Have you two heard of Elemental Sight? Ah, I can use oh, it. Oh, that's a surprise. I guess I'll have to hold you in higher regard. Anyway, that ability should resolve your issue. Got it. Here are two knowledge capsules. Tell me, can you detect any difference in their quality? Try inspecting them with elemental sight. Ah. How'd it go? Did you see anything? 
The one on the left shines brighter. Rumor has it that higher quality knowledge capsules generally appear brighter when viewed through elemental sight. That's because knowledge originates from Ermensoul, the root of Dendro power itself. The more powerful the knowledge, the richer it is in Dendro energy. However, some canned knowledge with a high concentration of elemental energy is of little use in contemporary times, so those capsules are of little value. Using elemental sight is merely a stopgap measure, but it should suffice for earning Dory's trust. That sounds pretty impressive. Here's a sheet with the informant's location and contact password, and here is the mora for purchasing canned knowledge. Don't be cheap. You'll need to spend to catch Dory's eye. If there's any mora left over, just keep it. <laughs> oh, and be sure to exercise some caution. There have been Matra present in Port Ormos lately. Your efforts will be for naught if they catch you. Matra? They belong to the Academia's regulatory body. They also handle cases of illegal canned knowledge transactions. Like I said, the Academia has banned both their trade and possession. The Matra are razor sharp. You're in for nothing good if they lock their sights onto you. If you two want to back out, now's the time. I'm willing to take okay, that risk. Okay, then we have a deal. If you succeed in your dealings with Dory, come find me at the Wikela Funduk. We'll have an open discussion then. Looking at what Al Haytham wrote, Dory's informant is a traitor near Old Ormos. Old Let's Ormos. follow these instructions and try to get in contact with him. Hello. What are you two looking to buy? Raw, unripe. Unripe. That's a good word. <laughs> what a unique palette. We have unripe horror fruits, but we usually keep them in the back. I'll have someone escort you. Following the paper got us past the first round. Ronok, these two want to buy unripe horror fruits. Show them to the warehouse. Got it. You too. Please follow me. You two have a fascinating fashion sense. Thank you. We haven't seen a customer wearing a Sumeru rose for quite some time. Uh, hold on. Let me think. Sumeru rose means common merch. Um, no. Look again. We're obviously wearing morning flowers. Ah, my mistake. I do apologize. Whew. That pop quiz sure was scary. Ah, uh, the warehouse is up ahead. Please follow me. Before I retrieve your products, I need to confirm a few things. Please forgive me, but we may not have sufficient stock for you today. Earlier, many of our horror fruits were taken by mice. <laughs> Thanks. If better goods come in, you'll be the first to know. You look like you have some skill. Why don't I pick out some fruits that'll make you dizzy? No, that's not it! The paper said that heat stroke is the answer to erudition. I never uh, read any paper. Eating something that causes heat stroke sounds horrifying. Ah, uh, I'm sorry. But as things currently stand, we won't be able to fulfill your order. Why don't you two think things over? He's cautious of us. Let's take a closer look at the paper that Al Haytham gave us. All right. Didn't realize that we actually got something. All right. Alright, awesome. Informant code chart. Looking to buy unripe hara fruits. Wear a morning flower. Wear a Samaros. Mouse. Customer. Hmm. 
Right. Rish bowl and tiger mantra. Taken by mice sold to customers. Taken by rish bowl and tiger confiscated by a mantra. Pack in Sumeru city style. Purchase small uh, port armor style is bulk. Complementing a customer of skill corresponds to Harafruit that causes dizziness and ringing of the ears. Complementing a customer of erudition corresponds to Harafruit that causes heat stroke. My god, have to remember stuffs. Skill is dizziness, erudition is heat stroke. Taken by my salt customer. Let's see if I can remember even a half of that. Yep, that's the right answer. But eating hara fruit that makes your head and ears ring sounds like a bad life decision. Would you like your hara fruits to be packaged in the Sumeru City or Port Ormo style? What are we trying to do? I remember that Sumeru was like a small package thing and Port Ormos was bulk. What are we trying to do? I don't think we're getting anything in bulk. I'm guessing that you're going for more traditional packaging since this is your first time here. Wait a sec. Sumeru city style means we're only buying a few things. He won't take us to see Dory if we do that. Ah, uh, I'm sorry. He's cautious of us. Let's take a close. Yeah, yeah. Wow, right. you two sure are generous customers. We'll be sure to package your products beautifully. Okay, everything has been confirmed. Miss Dory is waiting for you up at. Shoot! It's the Matra. Run! What? The Matra? We gotta get out of here. That was annoying. We don't know this area, so let's follow that informant. Hiding from the Rishbalan tiger. Come this way. Another password. Huh? Oh, that voice came from behind the building on the right. Here, over here. You can stop running now. So you were the one who was calling out to us just now. But, uh... Are we definitely going to be safe here? These two good customers wish to buy some horror fruit, Miss Dory. And if there's nothing else, I'll just excuse myself. Oh, very good. Thank you. Huh? Wait, you're Dory? I'm unsure that you'd look a whole lot scarier. Hey, what are you trying to say, Princess Peabrain? I can be scary enough when I need to be, believe you me. If you don't watch what you say, then you can forget about doing any business. But it seems you two have actually done pretty well so far. Not only did you manage to find the informant, your reactions were also pretty sharp. You don't really look like criminals or anything, but I bet my Mora that you've been involved in some shady dealings, haven't you? 
sure if that's supposed to be a compliment, but we'll take it. I can't risk doing business with people who start huffing and puffing after just a few paces. No matter how much more they might have. Not only will they get caught by the Matra, but they'll also get us into trouble. As decent folks trying to run an honest business. We don't need any of that. Wouldn't you agree? So that's why I prefer to have customers like you. It's your first time here, but don't worry. I won't ask too many questions. Even if you wish to buy enough knowledge capsules to decorate your house with, please knock yourself out. As long as you have lots of round, shiny Mora, then we're all good. Can you show us your products? Ah, yes, of course, of course. Go ahead. Help yourselves. Voila! Wow, she has a trove of Karen's knowledge. Whew. She'd probably be in serious trouble if the Matra caught her with all this. What kind of products do you seek, my dear customers? Uh, don't worry, I'm not interested in your reasons for buying. I can, however, offer some suggestions. Take this one, for example. An analysis of the sociological ideology and dialectics of the Hillichurls. Only three people in all of Tevat have ever studied it, making it extremely rare. It's on sale now for 350,000 mora. Yeesh, who would want to be an expert in that topic? Or how about the architectural styles and construction methods of Tevat in the early Argon War period? With this one, you can become an expert in historic architecture preservation and find an excellent, well-paying job in nearly any nation. Ooh, now this sounds like it could be useful. Two million mora, and it's yours. No discounts. Whoa, that's a lot of mora! Of course, you are free to pick whatever your hearts desire. The contents and price of each knowledge capsule are indicated in small text on the body of each one, down at the bottom. All right, let's try the method that I'll hate them mentioned. All right. I'll take this one. And this one. As well as this one. Ah, you've really got a good head on your shoulders. And quite the eye for quality. You pick and choose a variety of canned knowledge. I'll take these, please and thank you. My oh my, you are blessed with the taste for both the exquisite and the extravagant. Customers like you are a rare breed. One in a hundred. No, one in a thousand even. Listen, I have a special offer for you two. If you spend just 100,000 more and more, you can pick any knowledge capsule of your choice up to a value of one million more. Say what now? Hey, did you hear that? Spend another 100k and we get a capsule worth a whole million. Don't let her trick into spending but more. All the can knowledge we just bought is easily worth half a million mora. If we spend just a little more, we can get something worth one million mora. Isn't that a fantastic deal? Think about it. We've gone to all this trouble to get this can knowledge. And so far, everything we've bought belongs to all Haytham. Aren't you even the least bit curious about how this whole can knowledge thing works? We're talking instant knowledge here. Don't you want to try it yourself? I think you're the one who's curious. You just want to see me try it. Come on, come on. We still have around 100,000 of Alhatham's moral left. So let's put it to good use by finding something useful for you. Ahem, you've got a deal, Dory. We'd like to spend an extra 100,000 mora. Excellent! And then please, select from this fine collection of can knowledge over here. Uh, hold on a second. Prima thought we could choose whatever we wanted. Why can't we choose the ones from over there? 
Oh, but my dear customer, the knowledge capsules over here are worth one million more each. I'm sure discerning customers like yourselves will be able to find something to your liking. Please, take your time. Uh-oh, Paimon has a bad feeling about this. Let's use Elemental Sight again to check these. You see? They all seem to be equally bright. So they're all worth about the same amount? Well, anyway, the more has already been spent, so let's at least try to find something useful. Let Paimon take a look here. An introduction to traditional Sumeru brewing techniques, the art of growing spices, an overview of ancient runes, how about this one? Sword Fighting Techniques 8. Not sure we'd ever find Volumes 1 through 7, but at least this knowledge should be useful, right? Let's go with this one. Whatever makes Paimon happy. Dory, we'll take this one. All right, very good. I'm expecting some new goods in the next couple days, so be sure to check back again soon. Whether it's canned knowledge or anything else you need, bring your Mora to Dory and doors will open. Our dealings with Dory went smoothly enough. Let's head to Wakala Funduk and meet up with all Haytham. Oh boy. Now he'll finally tell us about what the Academia lost. Where are we going? Alright, fair enough. Ooh, hello. There's an elevator. Don't really need an elevator going down, but just out of curiosity, where is this elevator? I see. Okay, good to know. Oh, I forgot to put the music here. Love it. <laughs> Hiya, dude. Be <laughs> back. You two made it. Yes. And from the looks on your faces, you were successful. Whoa. There's so many people from the academia here. Why would you pick this place as our meetup spot? Well, Wakela Funduk is under the academia's control. So naturally, the Academia has people working here. I came to Port Ormos under the pretense of conducting official business. You're a pretty daring guy. Relax. No one here is interested in anything we say, and the Macher won't come here. <sighs> okay, now. Tell me how your encounter with Dory went. Expensive. You... Okay, we did what you asked. So, can you tell us about the knowledge capsule that the Academia lost now? Before that, I have to ask. Why are you two so intent on tracking it down? You don't have to answer, of course. We want to meet with the Dental Archon. Yeah! She just wants to meet the God of Wisdom and ask her about something important. We've been in Sumeru for a while now, but we still haven't found a way. When we heard that the Academia had lost something that might be related to the gods, we came here in case it turned out to be our lucky break. In that case, you're on the right track. A short while ago, the Academia lost a knowledge capsule in the desert. It's supposedly a divine knowledge capsule. Use it, and you'll gain the wisdom of the gods. Wow. There's really such a thing as that? Hey, if we find it, do you think we could learn how to meet the Dendro Archon? Ooh, or even how to find your brother? I highly doubt it has any mystical properties, but it does indeed exist. And it's right here, in Port Ormos. So, where exactly? That's what we need to find out next. Your goal is to find it too? I won't deny that. I am investigating because I'm curious as to what the Divine Knowledge Capsule truly is. As you know, 
The Eremites in Port Ormos also have their eyes on it. It is an extremely precious item. The knowledge contained within may bring great power or wealth to whoever has it in their possession. Several brigades have been vying for ownership of it as of late, but there is still no victor. My personal finances and connections cannot compete with those of the Aramites. After attempting various methods, I finally managed to reach a tentative agreement with several brigades. I agreed to forego ownership of the Divine Knowledge Capsule in exchange for the opportunity to study it. After all, there's no harm in understanding what it is. However, there are those who are less amenable to negotiation, such as those from Ayn al-Akhmar. They adamantly believe that the Divine Knowledge Capsule contains King Deshret's power, and that he will return to this world when they obtain it. They refuse to let anyone from the Academia tarnish their deity's soul. So you kept hounding them because they refused to cooperate with you? Yes. Ayn al-Akhmar isn't exactly wealthy, but its members are determined to get that capsule by any means necessary. To that end, they've resorted to many methods more foul than fair in order to amass sufficient funds. So, I've been sabotaging their business to force them into negotiating with me. The Divine Knowledge Capsule should be up for a secret auction within the next few days. Each brigade will place their own bid, and the prize will be covertly given to the winner. To ensure the capsule's security and to evade the Matra's notice, the winning brigade will not publicly disclose their victory. Unless I know whose hands the Divine Knowledge Capsule ends up in, my agreements with them will fall through. Dory is the most reliable source of information, but that avenue was previously closed to me. With you on board now, the situation is different. In other words, you wanted us to befriend Dory so you could find out where the Divine Knowledge Capsule is. Yes, you can say that. But this arrangement harms none of us. The day after tomorrow, go back to Dory and try to purchase information on the Divine Knowledge Capsule's whereabouts. If she has no information, wait two days and approach her again. If I get the opportunity to study the Divine Knowledge Capsule, I will relay my findings to you. Will that suffice as compensation? Thank you. Okay. Then we'll meet up in two days. Um, uh, hey, Thum, before you go, we actually bought a Knowledge Capsule for ourselves, but we're not sure how to use it. <laughs> You two want to try using a knowledge capsule? Sure, I can teach you. Doing so right under the Academia's nose is a bit problematic, though. What do you say we head to the outskirts of town? Sure. Oh my god, I'm starting to get tired with the cutscenes. Uh, where is this? Over there. Hmm. Should I take a little detour and try to get that one? Or even this one? <sighs> I'm sorry, I'm super tired. I don't remember if I've been talking about this. I don't feel like I have. I don't know. Anyways, the past three weeks I have been suffering with sleep a lot like I have not been able to sleep I've been getting like four to six hours of sleep every night and I cannot sleep anymore and it's just um, I'm starting to finally get my sleep back but I'm so sleep deprived <laughs> that I'm so tired um, but yeah like I said I'm starting to get my sleep back so I should be back to normal uh, soon ish but Hmm. I don't place this. We're, we're very I low. I just need a moment to quickly take down some notes. How would I even start climbing that? Well, I mean, with the elevator. Yeah. But yeah, I'm. Um... Wait, this isn't an elevator. Wait, wasn't it like this? It's a different one? Which one was the elevator? What? 
There was an elevator and now it's gone. Well, that's unfortunate. Well, I guess I'm doing this task then. Unless I want to use... Hello. Thank you. to be for that oh right climbing that might not be such a struggle after after all oh sorry wrong button yep, that's not enough eh. is there a next one I don't think there's a next one. Let's just go here then. Ooh. We're gonna be doing a little bit of exploring so that I don't fall asleep mid-recording. Why does this look very sus? <laughs> nurseries in the wilds. Some of these seemingly masterless nurseries may be found within the forest of Sumeru. Follow the glowing spirits that float over these nurseries and traverse each field without interruption or repetition. And perhaps something good will happen. In truth, it isn't good to step on fields, but your footsteps seem to be able to awaken the life of this plot of land. Follow the glowing spirits that float over these nurseries and traverse each field without interruption or repetition. What was that? Oh, it's gone. Can I go take a look? God, so beautiful. Oh, look at all the flowers. Wow, right. so many cool. raw materials. Oh, so pretty. Oh. That was fun. What is that thingy? The swirly thingy over there? I don't know, but let's go get this one. Yeah. Oh, hello. Someone needs this as a dutiful maid. Use this. Oh gosh. upon lab supplies as often all right all right goodies here goodies everywhere no what are you doing 
was a delayed re reaction because I hadn't pressed a button in a while. Oh, that one I can react to. don't they? Yeah. Oh, now we can't do that anymore? That's lower down. We don't want to go lower down. What if I want to climb? Do I trust that there's not going to be a battle? Because <sighs> if there is, I'm going to die. I'll lead the way. Oh boy. See, what did I just say? Look at that, your first fight and you didn't die. Good job. We can do this. Yes, we can. Great. Let's keep climbing. Why do you keep doing that sound if I can't use it? That's just dumb. If 
by the way. Let me guess. Mining. Oh, what's mining? Um, alright, I got that one. Do I want to try and go get that one, or let's just go to the cutscene. are high up. So a little bit lower. Wait, did I leave goodies here? Well. Look at that. Left some goodies here. Well, it's good that we came back. There's a chest. Let's go get that. Oh boy, oh boy. All right, we were supposed to do this oh, without that. That's fine. It's not really an option right now. Is that all of them? Ooh, a fishing spot. Let's go gather some samples. Wish me luck. Good luck. All right. This place works. Show me the capsule you purchased. Here. Hmm. Sword fighting techniques eight. Huh. A combat class knowledge capsule. This class is something of a rare find these days since most have been taken by the Aramites to augment their battle capabilities. Really? Ah, oh, yeah, what a great buy! If you want to determine the efficacy of this capsule, I can evaluate your combat ability. However, effects will likely be minimal if you already possess a high amount of strength. We can conduct a controlled experiment where you fight two battles, one before using this knowledge capsule and one after. While you fight, we can use an Akasha terminal to monitor your various physical parameters. There may be variances in your physical strength between the two tests, as well as a disparity in your opponent's abilities. But don't worry. I'll run statistical analyses afterward to mitigate any confounding effects. Wow! I'll hate them! You must have been one of those guys at the Academia who got top grades on everything! Um, Paimon's curious about something, though. You definitely weren't one of those students who needed canned knowledge to graduate from the academia, right? 
So, why are you risking getting caught by the mantra for this capsule? I'm also curious about this. When you are unable to understand a researcher's actions, most cases can be attributed to curiosity. This is but one theory. Hmm, sounds like you're trying to avoid the question. All right, let's begin the test. Just fight as you normally do. <laughs> are you sure? Oh, I'm okay. As I normally do. Get them. Stand clear. That's what I normally do. All right. I'll link your Akasha terminal to record data. The next step is to use this knowledge capsule. Hold it in your hand. I'll help you establish a connection with it so you can activate its power. As if I saw a countless sword-wielding figures fighting one moment, and the, in the next, they disappeared into the recesses of my mind. Hey, how are you feeling? I felt something for a moment. Whatever was inside the knowledge capsule became a part of my memory. You mean that it worked? Seems like it. All right, time for round two. Fight with the same composure as before. Same you say? At the frying pan. Absorption test. I did it. Now, I'll start recording data again. Data. Oh, hey, Thumb. How's it going? Well, the knowledge capsule you purchased did improve her combat capability. During the second fight, her overall fighting performance increased by 0.073%. Great! How much? That's basically zero. Of course, this could be because she is so powerful that the capsule's contents were unable to produce a substantial increase. So here's a thought. How about if we gave it to Paimon? She could be useful. At the very least, this test allowed me to gain more insight into you two. Our deal seems increasingly worth my investment. I'm heading back to Akela Funduk. I await your response in two days' time. This is more of for when you ask Dory for information. Pay her as much as she requests. Wait until seven, two days from now. You want me to skip two days of my life? Do you understand what you're asking of me? I kind of want to go get this one. Now this one is at the bottom, right? I want to get up. Would I get... So I clearly can go up from here. But can I get up from here? Let's go check. Is there a way to go up, up? I don't think there is a way to go up. Unless there's another elevator. I don't think there's an elevator now. Yeah, I don't think there's no, any going up there. So what is my closest if I want to go? Oh God, it would be all the way here. 
We'll make this work. I just need a moment to quickly take down some notes. Navigate. This is gonna help. In that direction. Oh yes, that's where we need to go. Let's go! We have a destination. in there. I don't want to waken them up. Although the other one wasn't someone that you could wake up. My boat is here! Right, I left my boat in here. Wait. Oh, boy oh boy. Okay, so here's the thing. That's not it. You guys have been saying don't use fire, which I understand why, but I don't think I have options. She's my main DPS. I don't have anyone built even closely at... I don't think I'm gonna like this. All right, let's go. Yeah, I don't think this is gonna be a good idea. Let's see. You're highly underleveled. All right. Yeah, that does nothing. Just to swirl. All right, I can try this. Basically just attacks. See, I'm useless without Sean Ling. I can't just take her off of the party. Animal test 6308. Animal hyperspace emulation. Remains of an ancient ruin guard. He looks deprived of energy. I'm okay with that. All right, so we were supposed to go b -b 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 here. Oh, we have an evil situation here. I mean, I guess we could try to fix it, but. We need to gather that one from there first. Nice and spicy. Animal test 6308. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, hello. You brought friends? Stand clear. Sick. to heal from that and then go back 
Does that work that way? Yes, it does. Okay. Hello. Animal test 6308. There we go. Let's go grab this. There. Can't remember that a bit too late, but that's okay. There we go. Uh, could you maybe? There we go. Ooh. Oh, we got more crap. At the right hand, into the fire. I must leave no. Stand clear. Animal test 6308. Oh, there's a lot of them. Healed her to full? I'm surprised. Wait, what is this? I don't know. What are these? Oh. Oh. Why do I keep getting more and more of this? Absorption test. Animal test 6308. this I just need to yeah I just need to do this all right noise wow so many raw materials look at that we made it all pretty again Academia investigation team's interim report. Someone seems to have burned the contents in a hurry. Only a few words remain legible now. Found a large group of mechanisms similar to the huge walking machinery we previously found at the ruins of Gurabad. After a preliminary investigation, I reckon that they are from the same era. The key parts missing in the Gurabad samples, excuse me for the rush name, have been found here. It may be possible to repair the machinery's automatic system. Found an organization called Schwanerritter, and its existence may be confirmed by the legend of ruins of Dari. Recorder, trainee Dastur Zandik. I see. Alright, so we want to get up there, so let's go from here. Because it looks like we can climb this. Awesome. Ooh. 
Ooh. There's a chest in there. <laughs> What's that thing over there? There's like a beacon. Oh, there's this thing over here. Oh! One of these is here. In here. I'm gonna mark them like that. When I start getting those keys and I'm like, where did I see those? research so you say I'll lead the way Thank you. let's try that again. that doesn't do it that does wait I need this yeah No, I actually needed it. I thought it was enough to have just like Tainari. Keep up. Smells like something good is inside. Ooh, cool looking place there. Again, just casually exploring with my level twenty dude that has not been built at all beyond leveling them up to 20. That's fine. Alright, let's switch this to you. Wish me luck. Good luck. Alright, and I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna call it here. So, we got some story progress and I got two more of these. I still have a couple of here that I've missed, so I kind of want to go through, get those as well. And then I have one over here. <gasps> that would be very close there. Where is my story story now? I'm not navigating my story. I am. Where's my story? Oh! That's why it's not showing, because it's. I have to wait two days. That's right. Alright, anyways. Oh, flower. Later. Let's get ourselves back to the town here. Yeah, that's pretty. That's a good place to end the episode. Alright. We're going to call it here. We're going to continue next time. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this episode, give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, consider subscribing. And I will see you guys in the next one.